Hey, today we are talking about lip plumpers. I'm not talking about the lip glosses and whatnot, though those are fun too. Today we are talking about these tools from Liptiful, Liptiful Tools. I first found out about it through a video that Candy Johnson did. There's also another company that has these like squishy rubbery lip plumping ones and the videos that you see of people using those, they like suck on them and then pull their lips off with them and evidently uh, that's not good for your lips. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Anyway, I have three of these. The first one I bought, it's like totally chipped all to hell. I dropped it several times. You do have to be careful with these because they are made out of clay. It's hand pressed clay and so they will chip. So don't drop them. This was the first one that I got and I got it because it was the lips and I thought it was super cute, but it's a small and I kind of have a big mouth. So for me, this one was kind of hard to use. I had to do it in like three sections per lip. So I had to do six full, it was just like, it was too much. Um, but so then she was having a BOGO sale, a buy one, get one. So I ended up getting both of these for $40. Normally they're $40 each. I know, kind of expensive, right? But you know, if you get them on sale, it's not that bad. And I freaking love these things. I really, really do. It's been over six months that I've been using these and I use them on a daily basis. Not always like if I have a cold and can't breathe out of my nose then um, I can't use this. <laughs> Supposedly the longer you've been doing it the longer the results will last and the quicker your lips will plump up. The science behind this is that the clay is heavy enough that it builds the muscles around your mouth so that it, it's creating long-term results and I will say that the, when I first started using them Definitely my whole like my cheeks and my jaw started feeling really tired So they definitely do take some muscles, but you get used to it pretty quickly So right now I have not plumped at all today. I don't have anything on my lips So the best way to do this is to have completely dry lips Like even if I've just moisturized my face and it slips too much I tend to not get a good enough suction where it will stick on so like I said the lips are a little small for me but if you have a smaller mouth or like a really small lip or something this is great for doing one lip at a time kind of a thing the small one the other two I have I have a medium this cute little polka dot heart and the hole here is a medium size as opposed to the large and this is just a round flower one that I thought was cute so you can see the size difference now mostly the way that I use these is I keep the large one in my purse and I use it in the car or if like while I'm cleaning around the house this one sticks on really well because it's nice and big this this one I'm more careful with because this one has a tendency to fall off. I could absolutely not do that with this one. This one I had to hold on. I just, it was too small for my mouth. This one I keep near my makeup and I will do like just my upper lip while I'm doing my eye makeup or whatever just to get this area plumped up. The reason that I started using these, okay, <laughs> I naturally have pretty nice full lips, but as I am aging, I am getting wrinkles, like really bad wrinkles on my upper lip. And so I've been on this search for something to help stave off those wrinkles that isn't injections. So that was why I was interested in this product because I wanted to help you know, get rid of those lip wrinkles. And I just find that this adds a nice fullness to my lips that doesn't make them look weirdly big, but still full and young and uh, not so wrinkly. <laughs> so you can order them online. Their Etsy shop was closed down due to some lawsuit with the other company that I mentioned with the squeezy ones, but you can still buy them off of Amazon or if you go to their site, which I will link down below, I think it's like Liptiful tool.com or something like that. Anyway, I'll, I'll link it down below. And then when you order it, they send you this little pamphlet that's just sort of like a guideline of how to use it. It is sort of confusing because it basically, you know, you just put it on and suck and you're like, okay, am I doing this right? Is my mouth in there right? So sometimes it takes a little work to get used to it and also knowing which size to get for your mouth, which is kind of why I have multiple sizes. I mean, the first one was sort of a mistake. And then when I ordered these, I wanted to try a medium and a large because I wasn't really sure. And I'm actually glad that I have both of these because I use them for different things. I do actually enjoy plumping. I don't know, it's, it's just sort of a fun, weird thing to do. So basically what you want to do is get the top of your lip on the inner rim and then you put it on 
and then you just suck in, you know, like you would with like a straw or something, and then it sticks to you. And you can wait anywhere from like 20 seconds to sometimes I'll leave it on for half an hour, just, you know, for funsies. Of course, I take it off and I'm like, but it does, you know, go down pretty quickly. I don't think you're supposed to leave it on that long. It should work within like a couple of minutes. So let me just go ahead and show you the results. We'll just do the big guy. So. Okay, so you take it off after, you know, however long you want to put it on. And as you can see, I have some plumped up lips. I might also have a little red ring around my mouth, especially with this one. This has a thinner edge just because it is the larger one. With this one, because it has the thicker edge, I get a little bit less of a red ring. It'll still be a little bit red, but it it doesn't last that long. One thing that I will say though, to, in order to keep the plump, you need to hydrate your lips, especially if like myself, you have dry lips because that for whatever reason just makes your lips shrink up a lot quicker. So right after plumping, I like to use sometimes a gloss or sometimes just a nice hydrating lip balm before I apply my lipstick. So my lips look pretty big right now. Not ginormous or anything, but definitely much bigger than they normally do. This will not last that long, honestly. It will start to go down after about five, 10 minutes, but you will still have some residual plumping for a good couple of hours, really. And the longer you've been plumping, you know, I mean, like I'm talking over the course of months, the stronger your muscles will get, the more used to the plumping your lips will get, and the longer it will retain the plumpness. So also while you have it on, if you move your mouth back and forth this way, that is supposed to help with building the muscles as well. I find that that helps with the plumping process. I don't know, something about that, it just, the lips working in there helps to get the blood flowing and the lips plumped. So would I recommend these? Absolutely, I love them. I think if nothing else, they're just sort of fun. Yes, they are a little on the pricey side. $40 is kind of expensive, but these are handmade and they're super cute. This one comes with a little chain, so technically you could hang it on something. It's really heavy though, so I don't know that you would wanna wear it as a necklace. Also, if you were to bend over and knock it on something, it would chip. But these are like little works of art. They're so cute. And I really like supporting small businesses. And you know, I would say wait for a sale. Follow them on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. That's the best way to see if they're having sales. She just had like a 40% off sale for the whole week of Valentine's Day. And I will put all of the information in the description box so definitely make sure that you read that to see all of the links for everything and any other extra info so anyway that is my take on lip to full tools I think that they are awesome and fun and beautiful little works of art they're quick and easy and you get full plump lips I don't know what's not to love I just think that they're super awesome so definitely check them out support their sweet little family-owned company all right well thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video